Today on Near Mint Condition, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, but it sucks. <laughs> we have as much money as the original run on the BBC. So stay tuned and watch. Doctor. Ten. Ten! Of course, that's the obvious answer. All right, and who's your favorite companion? Go. Rose, obviously. Why Why Billy Piper? Why? Because I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, the first time I met you, I was like, holy crap, it's Billy Piper. That's the whole reason I started watching Doctor Who, actually. Okay, right. for me. Rock. Come on, bro. <laughs> Martha Jones. Martha Jones. Why? why? Because she's a fine black woman, baby. <laughs> she was a fine black woman. Yeah, yeah, fine black was. woman. Martha Jones for the same reason. <laughs> I knew it! You had some of that fever, baby. <laughs> okay, Rose for me because I love the love story between Tin and Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm I like a romantic. Rose. Like Amy Pond always had a thing for gingers. And like she's really fun. fine. Yeah, she's she fine. Is. Yeah, she's fine. So, Dan, what are we doing? All right, so today <laughs> we are going to go over what we know about Series 10 and how we got here for people who aren't quite caught up. So, just yeah. summing up the kind of Matt Smith era, the whole Stephen Moffat. Uh, Matt Smith era, he had the big 50th anniversary special where all of a sudden Gallifrey is recovered. Who's Gallifrey? Gallifrey is the home planet of the Time Lords. Okay, and it was lost. That oh, was one God. of the things from the very beginning of the new Doctor Who, is that Gallifrey is gone. But there's no one else coming because there's no one else left. And it's been destroyed in the Time War. Turns out, wasn't actually destroyed, it was time locked. And so then and I like I like that dramatic time. The, <laughs> so that was the the 50th anniversary special at the end of series eight. Okay. Series nine starts out with the new Doctor Peter Capaldi. The kind of nominative quest for series nine was they were going to find Gallifrey, yeah. and that just never really happened. Um, except for at the end of series nine, they had. Probably one of the best episodes of Doctor Who in a very long time, uh, where we lost Clara, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the Doctor finds Gallifrey, as in he makes his way to Gallifrey, but we still don't know where Gallifrey is. Now, yeah. why is it? Was this like Stephen Moffat was like doing stuff with Sherlock, or no? I think Stephen Moffat has great ideas. But sometimes those ideas get lost within the episode. The complexity yeah. his ideas, of the episode. His ideas are wonderful for one parters and two parter sized stories. I think Arts what are we a have different. Yeah. I think what we have seen over the course of his time as showrunner is that they just aren't big enough to sustain a whole series worth of episodes. And that that's always been Doctor Who's problem, right? It's it mm. tries to do episode long arcs that are really just a couple of words thrown into each episode that at the end of the series they say, oh, this has all been leading up to this. And it's like, bull. Like yeah. the bees? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> the bees leaving or, yes. or, or be seeing bad wolf graffiti yes. everywhere. You know, it's like, hey, that worked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, like that was that. cool. We don't know what's coming in terms of series 10 for that sort of thing. But we do know it's Stephen Moffat's last year running the show. Now, he has said that that there is no big to do type, you know, there is no big finale type thing planned for his leaving the show. And the hints lead us to believe that Peter Capaldi, this is not his last year, but it could be. We okay. don't know. Okay. So, get, getting into what we know about Series 10, we know that it's going to be 12 episodes plus a Christmas special. Mm -hmm. Love the Christmas special, so let's yeah, they going. Right. So, we are. Picking up the status quo from where the 2016 Christmas special left off to where it is the Doctor alone with Matt with, Lucas with, with alone <laughs> Nardle. with Nardle. We have a new companion. Uh, it is her name is Pearl Mackey, mm -hmm. and she plays a character named Bill Potts. Um, slightly different character than than what we're used to in a companion. Kind of more harkening back to Rose than anybody yeah. else in the sense of. You know, they're gonna fall in love. No, 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 but just in the sense of someone who who is not 
kind of, at least the way she's been depicted in the promo material, someone who is not just instantly like, okay, cool, time and well, space, got let me, it. Let me cut in there. I think Stephen Moffat even said in an interview recently that she's going to be, she's going to be making, she's going to be questioning the doctor on things that haven't been questioned in 50 years. Like, what's this for and what does that do? So she's going to be a whole different kind of character than what we've seen she doesn't accept it sometimes for what it is. She's going to be asking a lot of questions. Oh, I think you even like see most it in of the, the trailer. Are like, sure, I'll go along. Yeah, with this. she's yes. going to be questioned. Yeah, yeah. Or they've been like super intelligent on what things are. It's sort she's of like they built him with this yeah. knowledge. So kind of like maybe how Donna started. I was going to yes, say that's how Donna yeah, was. How she, Donna yeah. started yeah, out yeah, very much so. Yeah. So so we know she's going to be there. And we know Nardole is going to be along for yep. a good chunk of the episodes, mm -hmm. which, you know, that's fun. Yeah. Um, and I do like multiple companions in the TARDIS. Uh, it's huge. Some of my, it some of my favorite yeah. times are the Rose and Jack Harkness uh, episodes. Oh, yeah. So we also know theor probably that Missy's coming back yep. for an episode or two, at least. That's according to Michelle Gomez, the actor who plays mm -hmm. her. Now that is the master that has regenerated as a woman, and now she's known as Missy. Missy. Okay. Yes. And okay. She, she's a very fun character. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, she was, she, actually, she was the saving grace for me in series eight. I wasn't really digging Peter Capaldi's episodes up until that storyline started taking yes. position. Mm -hmm. Like it just became a really solid story. Like okay. first, it okay. took me yeah. a while. Yeah, you know, it always takes a while when the doctor oh, yeah. regenerates for you to be like, yeah. "Fuck that guy." Where's Matt Smith? And then you're like, "You know what?" He's not so bad. Yeah. It's the same way with yeah. Matt Smith and David Tennant. I mean, David Tennant broke our hearts. I don't want to go. I enjoyed Matt Smith's Doctor in single episodes, mm -hmm. but his characterization across the series was just all over the map. And they tried to kind of start playing that off as that's just part of his character. Mm -hmm. But it was always like, in the episodes, he was always internally consistent to that episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas... I think they've tried to do the same thing with Peter Capaldi, where he is kind of very like, you never really know how he's going to react to any given situation, but that is even inside one episode. Like some, you know, he's, his reactions are just kind of all over the map. Maybe that's, and what... that's part of what I like about his doctor is that he is consistent in his inconsistency. Mm. He is mostly an old grouch. I do miss Papa Buttons. Everything's so swipey these days. One of the things we do know about this series is some of the writers for the episodes. Now, Stephen Moffat has kind of teased that there are really big writers coming back. Uh, we don't know if any of the ones who have been announced are these really big writers or if Neil Gaiman or yeah. somebody else is coming Paul Cornell? Back. Man, I love that guy. He wrote the two-parter in uh, series two, I believe. Was it series two? Yeah, series two or three. Three. Three, three thank you. Uh, Family of Blood and the human nature, nature? Yeah. yeah he was also a comic book writer and i was a big fan of his books yeah they, and he's not one of the ones they've announced <laughs> <laughs> sorry Omar. well you can eat a bag of dicks so, so, so thank you for playing um but mike bartlett who uh is famous for dr foster dr right? foster and he's, he's apparently mm -hmm. a british playwright yep uh toby whitehouse who has written episodes before the god uh, complex god complex yep. he wrote vampires of venice vampires yes. of venice which mm. yeah, yeah. 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 my favorite don't mention that one again <laughs> School Reunion, which was oh, one like of my old favorites. Oh, yes. 10, but it's more my favorite just because it has Anthony Stewart. Oh, in it. oh Anthony yeah. Stewart. Anthony Stewart. That's great. Oh, yeah. It had Sarah Jane. Had and Sarah, Sarah Jane, Jane and K-9. It, yeah, it was a great episode. Yeah, it was a great episode. It was also the return of Giles. It, Jamie Matheson, who has... I don't know. Has he written other Doctor Who episodes? I don't know, but he's got... Never. He, apparently... The, the word is that he's got some sort of really scary episode. Oh, that's Tied exciting. behind the couch scary. Yeah. Scary like the Pirates episode? Because that yes, was really scary yes, to scary watch. scary like the Pirates episode. <laughs> that was... But then, <laughs> that's going to be the uh, also, episode, guys. Uh, one nice thing about this series is that they are bringing back a writer who wrote for old Doctor Who. Rory oh, Monroe okay, wrote okay. some episodes for the seventh Doctor. And that's she exciting. is writing an episode for... Did you say Aurora Monroe? No, I said well, Aurora. Aurora. Happens Monroe. to be X Men. And yes, when I saw that, I was like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> Today we have an episode about people controlling the weather. Um, so that's about all we know. Um, and then you know, Stephen Moffat's leaving after yeah. this year. Okay. So, so, so when Stephen Moffat leaves, which is a fantastic writer, as I talked about with Sherlock, who is going to be some possible replacements? Well, they they've already announced that. Uh, Chris Chibnall is going to be replacing Stephen Moffat. What has he done in the past? Well, he was the showrunner for 
seasons one and two of Torchwood. Okay. okay. Mm. Torchwood. So, mm-hmm. and if you remember, season one of Torchwood was kind of yeah. all over one, the map. Until two. Season two, two was, was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I did um, watch most of Torchwood. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and it was it was okay. Hasn't he written some Doctor Who episodes? He has. I actually like Torchwood. Yeah. Um, I'll say it's more than okay. But I, like I, I think his Doctor Who episodes are also kind of... Is that the dinosaur? He wrote the dinosaurs on a spaceship, spaceship yeah. right? Dinosaurs on a spaceship. Oh. He wrote 42, <laughs> that which is the... Actually, the power of three. I didn't like that episode. Okay, well, okay. we can agree. But I will that say, right. what I did really like <laughs> is the shorts that they did, uh, Pond Life. Yeah, yeah. I forgot he did, about those. He oh, he those. did all okay. okay. Well, that's good. So, yeah, so it's, you know. So he has some hits and. He has some the hits thing and is, misses. This is and misses, Doctor yeah. Who. No matter who the Everyone showrunner had, yeah. is, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to do this. Absolutely. This is a character that's been around for 50 plus years. You have to satisfy so many, not the old fans, and get new fans to watch. Mm. Keep those fans watching. It, it, I'm sure it's taking a toll on Moffat. Oh yeah, and and I'm you know it hasn't been helped by the fact there wasn't anything in sixteen other than the Christmas special, um, but I I have high hopes because Stephen Moffat when we heard that he was shown I was like fuck yeah oh yeah he wrote, <laughs> you know? he wrote yeah, the best right. episodes exactly. yeah, series all one, of two the best episodes yeah. were yes. his episodes right so it was like oh there couldn't be an end and then it was kind of like. No, dude, Series uh, 5 was awesome. From the get-go, you were over. I was a Matt Smith like, yeah, I fan would, yeah. from the first episode. I'm like, Look, oh, there are really, random really? cracks in all the places we happen to go. He had some really good <laughs> lines, man. Yes, people have suffered and died, but what's the point in two hearts if you can't be a bit forgiving now and then? And yes, the he delivered some really great like, speeches. You can't deny that. Even though I would have loved to have seen David Tennant deliver those lines, <laughs> Matt yes. Smith got some pretty yeah. cool lines. I, and I have no problem with Matt Smith. Again, it's my problem is with the the... Care or the, the story long season long arcs. Okay. Yeah. And and I think that with a new writer who, frankly, expectations aren't quite as high, for, mm. we might see some overall better quality just because we're not trying to live yeah. up to an unreasonable bar. Okay. So That's I have very high hopes for series eleven, but I also have high hopes for series ten. So we'll we'll see when it comes out now it starts in the spring we don't yeah. know exactly when maybe april ish is I think that's what peter at. capaldi mentioned it's usually it in an easter because so. i remember every easter sunday that's when it started like the pope mandates when doctor who starts smoke google google that shit right. smoke wait, wait, wait. the vatican we know the british isles are protestant basically yeah they <laughs> that's why they didn't get no doctor who last year because it's shit like that <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to uh, I know what I, I would like to see what, what do you guys want to see what do you want to see in the new season well I know that Moffat has mentioned that there's going to be a lot more standalone one off um, episodes not of these two two episode arcs that we've been seeing in the previous season like one episode the ex- another episode follows it are this going to be the same story arc so yeah. there's going to be a lot of individual adventures that they're going to go through so I'm excited to see what we have in story said they're bringing a lot of old monsters back so, or Man, I hope they bring Daleks. We don't see enough of those guys. We kind of get more of a back history on who Time Lords are, what their function is in the world. Their function is to keep shows running for 50 years. <laughs> <That's Yeah. it. laughs> I don't know. And I, it's hard to imagine how they're going to do that with a new companion who is questioning everything. Well, I think it'll be good. I think it's going to be a good work in because she knows nothing about anything with Gallifrey, with Time Lords, or anything. Yeah. And I think it's a good way to find out more about this world. Father, I miss daughter. the chemistry of Donna and the Doctor. I which is that, like yeah. brother and sister. Mm-hmm. I think when we have somebody nagging at the Doctor, uh, that's all, that always makes for better episodes. Yeah. So, we've got a lot to look forward to. Yeah. That's what we want to see on this series of Doctor Who. What about you? What are you looking forward to? Tell us in the comments. Subscribe, like us, tell everyone you know. Thanks. Talking about <laughs> the, I, I, with Claire and the doll, like the oh, eggs, no. eggs, <laughs> eggs, 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 eggs,